me end well. Jesus, let me end well. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Psalm 121 and verse 4. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. I want you to grab your neighbor and say, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is your keeper. I pray today God will keep you and your family safe in the remaining days of the year. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The Lord is your keeper. He will keep you and your family in the remaining days of the year. <clears throat> there shall be no loss. The Lord is your keeper. <laughs> the Lord is your keeper. Church, it will keep you. It will keep your family. It will keep your own. <coughs> the Lord is your keeper. In Jesus, mighty name, we are free. Get another neighbor. Psalm 124 and verse 6. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped. Lord, this one will escape evil. Open your mouth and pray. His family will escape evil. Our children will escape evil. This one, oh God, we escape evil. In the name of Jesus. This one, we escape evil. King of glory, Lord of lords, this one, we escape evil. Lord, in the name of Jesus, this one we escape evil. The counsel of the wicked will not stand in your life. This one we escape evil. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Psalm 128 and verse 2. Psalm 128 and verse 2. Here. The best of God will speak for you this week. Amen. Psalm 128 and verse 2. When you eat the labor of your ends, you will be happy and it shall be well with you. When you eat, you sit down. You will eat the labor of your hands. He says, you will be happy. And what? And it shall be well with you. And it shall be well with you. Lord, I will not see evil. I will not eat the bread of sorrow. Somebody pray. Pray this prayer. I will not see evil. I will not eat the bread of sorrow. Jesus, I will end my race well. Holy Ghost, 
I will end my race well. I will not see evil. Lord, I will not eat the bread of sorrow. Holy Ghost, I will not eat the bread of sorrow in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Just in case you're not praying, this is the last prayer. Psalm 128 and verse 5. The Lord bless you out of Zion. And may you see the good of Jerusalem. He said all the days. He didn't say one day. He said may you see good all the days. All, all, all. You wake up in the morning, you see your children is good news. You won't have any record of bad news for them. You see your spouse is good news. He said, may you see the good thing all the days of your life. Lord, from today, every day is a good day for me. Open your mouth and pray. Every day is a good day for me. From today, every day is a good day for me. Holy Ghost, from today, every day is a good day for me. Jesus, every day is a good day. Come and declare, 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 declare. Don't keep quiet. From today, every day is a good day for me. I speak prophetically by the word of the Lord. From today, every day is a good day for me. In Jesus my test name we have prayed. Say louder, my bad days are over. Days are over. Uh, if it is too big for your mouth, you can't say it. Say it louder, my bad days are over. You know what God says? He said, you will speak to my hearing and I will hasten to perform it. If you can make me hear it, I will hasten. Say in the name of Jesus, <coughs> my bad days are over. My good days are here. Days are here. Come and go and look for four people and tell them your good days are here. Are here. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Lord, to you be all glory. You're, you are the Lord in our midst, doing great things, doing mighty things. And Lord, the entrance of your word gives light and understanding to the simple. Speak to our heart. Amen. Touch our spirit. Amen. Minister to our soul Amen. and take the glory. Amen. Over to you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless your word. Let it impact lives. And the church say loud amen. amen. Put your hands together for the Lord as you take your seat. <laughs> Hallelujah. So it's been a month of what? Everything. Everything. Not few. Some. Everything. God said, Jeremiah, the message translation, Jeremiah 30. And I read from verse 18. I will turn things around for Olufemi. Verse 18. I will turn things around for Olufemi. I will compassionately come in, that is, step in into his problems. I will rebuild the homes. The towns will be rebuilt on its old foundations. No one will chase you away from what is yours. The mansions will be splendid again. Thanksgiving will pour out of the windows. Laughter will spring 
through the doors, things will get better and what? Better. Depression days are what? Depression days are over, verse 19. Depression days are over. And what? They will thrive and they will flourish. Depression days are over. The days of content will be what? Over. The days of bad news will be over. The days of frustration and miscarriage will be over. The days of setback will be over. Because God is involved. He said, things will get better and better. Better and better. On Tuesday, I started <clears throat> on the subject, understanding better things as your better right. If you don't know what you are entitled to, you'll be displaced. They will take it from you. You are not created to beg for good news. No. You are created for good news. You are not created to pray for fruitfulness. You are wired to be fruitful. Wired. The Bible says from the beginning it was not so. When men slept in a state of ignorance, when they forgot what God created them for. Somebody will be unconscious today that the creator and the owner of my life is involved. My television can get spoiled and I get angry and put it by the side that it can never work again. But not in the hand of the manufacturer. Are you following me right now? The manufacturers know what to do. Are you following me? If it is spoiled, he will fix it. And if something is damaged, he will replace. Are you following me right now? Except it's not their product. There was a time I bought Focusrite. And I never knew that the Focusrite machine comes with a lifetime warranty. So it got spoiled. I couldn't understand. And I was calling the company. And they were telling me what to do remotely. I was talking to them, connected to the laptop, and the guy took over the mouse from me. He was in the U.S., I was in Nigeria. He took over the mouse of my laptop from me and was correcting what was wrong. <laughs> Nothing damages in the hand of the owner. He fixes it. He puts it all in place. Because what? He is the owner. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I said to us on Sunday, on Tuesday, that you can't understand better things until you see your God as better. That was the first thing we said. <clears throat> you will not be able to, if your God is not better to you, you can't see things that he does as better. You can't. And his plan is that you walk in it, you operate in it, you assess it, and you enjoy it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And number two, we saw that understanding that everything he does about your life is good from the beginning. From the beginning. Everything he does. <clears throat> and so, you shouldn't submit to negative things. So you must understand that everything he does from the beginning about your life is good. Everything. Everything. He doesn't make mistakes. He's a perfect God. He's what? A perfect God. And number three, we saw that fight for every good thing. <coughs> Nothing works. By folding of hands. Imagine God gives you a shop. And you say God will save the goose. And you refuse to open the shop. 
God is taking. The angels are going to go inside my shop now. They will go and carry those things and deliver it to Okoro. Okoro will pay cash by transfer. You are a thief. Even those that does money ritual, carry out sacrifice, they do something. You fight for every good thing. You fight for it. And the good thing that we have here is before the fight at all, we are pronounced more than a conqueror. <coughs> he said, because nothing can stop us. Nay, in all of this, we are what? More than a conqueror. Someone say, I won before the battle starts. Mm. <coughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, number four. If it is good, it befits you. Take note of this and make sure you're right. If it is good, it befits you. And I'm going to open you up to this revelation. Understanding better things as your better right. If it is good, it befits you. If it is good, it befits you. If it is good, it befits you. If it is good, you are entitled for it. James 1, 17. I read to you and I will explain. It says, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and it comes down from the Father of light, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Give me the New Living Translation. And I'm going to explain to you so you see what is your right. Whatever is good ah, and perfect is a gift coming down. Where? To us. <laughs> Ooh. Whatever is good, sir, this is your bad right. Don't say these good things are for them. Don't say, have whatsoever you say. Now, people like this, they get great in, not be like us. Who told you? Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us. From who? From God our Father. Can you see that? From who? From who? It is coming down. <laughs> From God our Father. Now, a father means source. From God, our father, our source. If it is good, it befits you. Don't forget this. Let it sink. If it is good, it befits you. When God wired you for everything, he input the power to accommodate all good things. He put it all inside of you. If it is good, sir, it befits you. If it is good, it befits you. A good home befits you. A good house befits you. A, 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 a good children child befits you. An opportunity to wealth and greatness befits you. An opportunity to honor and virtue befits you. It befits you. If it is good. And they ask you, what do you think it befits you? He said, because whatever is good and perfect is coming down from the Father to where? It's coming down from the Father to where? To us. 
And who is the Father? The one who created, the Father of light, who created light in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. He will not say, I won't do it. This is how you understand everything better as your better. This is how you have everything working as your better. You look at your children. If it is right, it befits you. If it is good, it befits you. <clears throat> Those, you know, there are fish you buy in the market is 1,000. There are fish you buy in the market. Small fish is 25,000. One fish. Not cotton. One fish. And there are fish you buy. One, just one. By the time you exchange it, it's about 45,000. Just one fish. And you need to know that there is a height of glory. The Bible says he has called you to this height. There is no variableness, no shadow of turning. Nothing is strong enough to turn it back if you can see it. You can never go grow beyond your understanding, your mentality. How can I buy okra of 50,000? Okra for market now 5 naira. Okra for market now 50 naira. Huh? Why will I buy four pieces of tomato? Oh no. How will I why will I buy this shoe for $1,000? No. The entire village with a thousand dollars will buy shoe for them. Or you don't know there are handbags of women that are one hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars handbags. Ask Diziani some of the things she bought with one point eight million dollars. Bruh. And your God sits. On the throne. He rules in the affairs. Don't limit a limitless God. There is no devil strong enough to take good things from the hand of God. The, are you follow, Listen carefully right now. There is no devil strong enough to take any good thing from the hand of God. Every good thing from God's hand is only coming down to one person the child of God. When next they tell you they want to stand, you can't stand against my breakthrough now. David said, give me understanding and I shall live. Let me understand I'm unstoppable. Then I will not keep myself with unnecessary next prayer. Lord, bind, bind the one I'm already above. That strangers will hear my voice. They will flee out of the hiding places. My voice alone is enough. Lord, I'm here again. In the fullness of grace and glory. Your son is awake. He has awoken to the glory of God. That your heavenly presence will overwhelm me. And Lord, I move when you move. Take care of the day. And let me follow. If it is good, sir. It befits you. Take note of that. Number five. Act like your father calling everything forth. If everybody is taking everything in your house, they will go home with it. Until you say, keep that one. That's for me. Is somebody following me right now? No matter. No, no, no. That's for me. Don't you? And they will come to say, that is mommy's handbag. Everybody doesn't play with it. You understand me? Now, it is what you give people permission to that they take control over. Let me give you a scenario in my house. No matter how it is that my wife's phone is anywhere, the children bypass it as if they didn't see it. Because they didn't grow up knowing that they have to touch their mother's phone. Because from the beginning, she has told them, don't come here. Don't come here. 
But they come, they, if they are coming for my own phone, they won't ask me, let me have your phone. Give my phone. It's as if it's their own. And me too. I would just leave. Nobody takes possession of anything in your life until you have allowed them. You allow small, small, you give small. They take it small. And gradually they grow again and again. And they take more and more and more. Before you know what is happening, they leave you with nothing. Your mouth act like your father calling everything forth. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 4. The Bible says, and God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from what? From the darkness. And verse 6, give me verse 6. The KJV please. Verse 6. And God said, let there be firmament. He wanted to see it. In the midst of the water. Let it do what? Let it divide the water. And verse 11, give me verse 11, verse 9, verse 9, please. Verse 9. And God said again, let the water under the heavens be what? Be gathered together unto one place and let dry land appear. And what? It was so. Verse 11. And God said, let the earth bring forth the herbs yielding seeds. <laughs> And the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself. Let me explain to you. Let mango bring forth mango, whose seed is in itself. Now, let Allah bring forth Allah, which is in himself, not itself now. Are you following me right now? If you see glory in you, let glory which is in me bring forth glory all around my life. You must act like your father calling everything forth. When you start it, it will look frustrating. It will look like it won't work. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He made a room for himself. That is the almighty God. But the room he made for himself as but as a comma. Ah! And what happened? Say, and the earth was without form. What God created. The business formless, no structure. God wanted to start his first business. Everything wasn't forming. Everything wasn't yielding. Not until he began to speak. <laughs> he has created. He said he creates. But it was without form and void. Verse 2. Stay on Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2. It was without form and what? And it was without form and void. Genesis 1 and verse 2. Please, media. Somebody very fast should be on the console. The earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of what God creates. Darkness came, sat on it. Principality sat on it. God didn't need to put his hand on the head. God didn't need to start crying. God didn't need to start shouting. God didn't need to see what we started. This thing won't work. Can't you see darkness everywhere? God never spoke to darkness. Stay on the scripture. He's there. They are not your business. What you nurse and nurse is not your business. Hallelujah. And the spirit of the Lord move. There is a spirit of God inside of you. It's a moving spirit. It moves. It ignores darkness. And it moves forth to create a desired result. Just imagine God paying attention to darkness. And battling with darkness. Move now, move now, move now, leave now, leave now. You demon, go out now. You demon, leave now. No. 
There was a switch. There is what we want. We must create it out of a void situation. There is a future that we have seen. We must take delivery of it. Imagine me calling me in Agbenga, Pastor Femi. What are we going to do about IWC? Where will money come from? That's not my problem. That's not my headache. My problem is to continue building. God continue. His spirit moved. It is not a negotiating spirit. You don't negotiate. Americans who say we don't negotiate with terrorists. You are not created to negotiate with your problems. You move forward by the Spirit of God. That's what Bible says. If the Spirit of Him that raised Jesus from the dead dwell inside of you, the same Spirit, O Yehiko, shall quicken your mortal body. Act like your father. Hit yourself. Say, Ulu Femi, act like your father. No, no. You are more than this. Like your father, act, 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 act like your father. Your father does not pay attention. You say hey, somebody is waging war against you. Hey, the, the person has got to make consultation. If the person is so strong enough, they will shouldn't try to appear in dark in the darkness. They should come life. Have you ever seen somebody come to you? I'm the witch who have been trying to kill you all this year and survive. It's because they are scared of you. They can't even say it to your face. And you, you don't know. What you are scared of is afraid of you. Why do people talk behind your back? It's because they don't have the mind, the courage. That's why the word backbiting came from. Gossip came from. There's no need to do gossip. If you want to say it, say it in the open. You can never be greater than the one you gossip. Never. The one you talk about will always be. It's the news. The news is always great than those who are saying the news. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Act like your father. Tell somebody, act like your father. Calling everything for me. <coughs> Because God says, you will have whatsoever you say. Number five. Number six. You are created for everything good. This is the crown of it. I leave this with you. <clears throat> you are created for everything good. And so, if something is wrong, go back to your source of creation. Wow. He said, from the beginning, it was not from the beginning. Everything was better. It was in a state of slumberness when men slept. That the enemy came to drop something. You are created for everything good. Genesis 1, 28 to 29, the KJV. I'd like you to take note of this as I carefully explain it to you. And God bless them. Uzoma, Victor, Ugona, Ayodele, Akindayo. And God bless them. Dolapo. And God bless them. Busola. And God bless them. At the same time, every man was blessed. You know, John chapter 1 verse 9 says, And this is the light that followed everyone coming into the world. Everyone carries his own uniqueness, carries his own blessing. You were created for everything good. And God said unto them, Can God's word be silenced? Be fruitful. Multiply. Stay on the scripture. And replenish the earth. And subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea. You are created. You are. 
you are. This is how you know your birthright. You are created. Before, nothing concerns you about a central cause. A costless cause shall not stand. That is a cause you don't know the reason. Are you following me right now? He said it will not stand. It's when you are trying to find the reason. You are making it important. My brother was asking me last, last week was my brother's, one of my brother's birthday. And he said, I want to ask you one thing. After service, he will come online. He said, I sit down and just watch your service more than three times every Sunday. My brother is the pastor of another church in Abuja here also. He said, I watch service three times Sunday. And I was asking God, let at least 5% of what I'm seeing here flow on my shoulder. And I said, why do you need 5%? When well, you can have a thousand one percent than it, you can have it. The sky is wide enough. You can fly, I can fly. I can decide to fly slow, 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 slow. And you're flying higher, higher, higher. And once I can just fear, I just go. You say, eh? I say, God has made room for all men. I say, if you have my 5%, what happened to the day of my weariness? My 5% will not be enough for your life. Not the talk of you remembering me. I said, you don't know man have their own short time. You don't need it. You need the fullness of his grace in Christ Jesus. I said, that was what I saw in David or Lani Yuridiko's life. I hate it. He said, that once were found. It's your responsibility, Allah, to locate your tomorrow. Locate your... This is your better right to, to have everything better and better. He said, the path of the joss is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter until a perfect day. And guess what? You are the owner, the owner of the steps. He said, for the steps of the righteous are ordered. Stop ordering your steps. Stop it. I will follow follow you till the end of time. I will follow, I shall follow you too. You know, the Bible was speaking in Psalm 16, verse 11. It says, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness. There is no joy, but there is fullness of joy. Not just joy. And if you are at his right hand, there are plenty pleasures forevermore. Pleasures without repentance. That God will not change his mind. He said, I changed my mind. That door I open. I changed my mind. Once God open, no man can shut. Not even spirits. Not Stand in your place. You are created for everything good. Are you following me right now? You have choice to say this is not good enough. And someone says, ah, uh ah, -uh. I will give me. Me, yeah, I want it. Are you following me right now? Lord, I give you glory for all you've done. My father can do better than this. This one is not good enough. How, how come we have been using this thing too long? Oh, no, this thing should leave this house. Ah, uh -uh. Stop holding on to, you remember those these are parents. You know they have those special plates. They put on the cupboard. It's just special day. Just maybe once. No, Easter and then Christmas. You just bring it down. That's the only time they put panayam inside. And it is always Warawa. -war, before Warawa. -war. That's the special day they would do it. And we were raised poor. Mentality poor. They will buy you sandal that is older than your age. My wife will tell me most times, and hey, make sure Nimi she's bigger. I said, I don't understand. Let him, if you wear it for four days, let's thank God we bought it for four days. He said, hey. Came to show me this morning, see, Nimi's trousers that you bought after two weeks. I said, Glory to God. 
I bought it according to his age. Let him use if he use it three days. Go, I'm not even thinking about it when I was buying it. Let God take care of it. You are created for everything good. This is your birthright. Amen. This is your birthright. May it speak on your life. Amen. You are not created for bad news. No. Michael, you are wired for the best of God. Wired to be helped. To be marvelously helped. No man survive alone. In the plan of God, he said, we give kings for you. He said, kings will be your nursing mothers. He knew a time will come you need to be nursed. He said, kings will be your nursing mothers. Kings will be your nursing mothers. Kings will be your nursing mothers. Kings. Kings. I, I don't, I've never, since I come in, man, we suffer we, we, when I mean we suffer, we suffer. But I've never had time when things begin to get better. Now, when my hand is getting tight over a ring, I tell my wife, hey, okay, let me now find a way to go and stretch it. Let them straighten it to my size. I've never, they're all there. I'll just remove it. We're talking about it. I said, don't worry. Jerry is coming because of the week. We'll bring another one. It has to be according to my size, a new size. If I grow in a new size, let them just be there. This one was one for three months. This one was one for six months. The entrance of his word, his word gives light, light, light. When he entered, and it is entering inside you now. You are created for every good thing. No, no, no. You are created. You, you are what you hear and what you see. That's why you need to be careful of the music you listen to. They are spirits. Baba Elo Tasi Baba Elo Tasi If what I'm holding in my hands can't give God glory, it does not befit me. Yes, Take note of that. If what I'm holding in my hands can't give glory, there are some food you are eating, it's not for you. They are what you are supposed to be giving out. If it can't give God glory. It's not for you. There was a man when we were in school, he built the biggest houses in Agoyewe all around. But he's always moving around with bedroom slippers. He had great things. If our people thought he did money ritual, he didn't. But poverty was just there. It was just all over. Yes, you are, Almasia. Everything he does is perfect. You are not a bastard. If a child comes, no child is a bastard. Everything God created is good. Did you hear the story of Elimpo? It was so horrible. But she, everybody was coming in, calling her bastard, bastard, bastard. She decided what she wanted to call herself. And she became what she's calling herself. A comedian in Nigeria, a professor in the United States. Now, far gone the days people come on the pulpit to talk rubbish. Didn't you hear the teachings of Bovi? You didn't? And you know that these guys have left rubbish and entered another class. Of great lights. Strange dimension of empowerment speaking to the mind, speaking to you. You need to go back to it. You need to be innovative. Don't go online looking for rubbish. Look for what impacts. You are created. I read Church Shift five years ago. I've been working on it. My mind is blowing, my mind is coming in. My mind is coming. My mind is coming. My mind is coming. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
You must crown him Lord of Lords. Your work with him must crown him. Your life must crown him. That's why he said, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. You don't know that worshiping God is sweet. Go to Kenyaland. When you see Chief Justice cleaning toilet now, service is going on. With great delight. You just come and come church. You don't know how sweet it is to serve the Lord. You are what? Created for everything good. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9 is our close. Now, this is your emblem, your seal, so that you come into an understanding of it. Your emblem, your seal. I don't know what they called you before, but this is what you are called. Truly called. Because nothing that comes into this world that didn't proceed from God. Everything proceeds from him. This is what you are called. First Peter 2 verse 9, the KJV. But with all you are faced with, with all you are going through. First Peter 9 and verse 2 verse 9. But ye are what the ones chosen. You are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood, holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praise of the Lord who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Give me the new KJV. Uh, give me the new KJV. Yes. Who has called you out of darkness. But you are. But you are. You are. Hey, I'm crying. So this is, didn't work. He keep quiet, my dear. But you are a chosen generation. God left everybody and chose you. You understand me? You can share testimony every day. You understand what I'm saying? Every day, choose it. But you are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood, holy nation, his own. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, what gives some of us what we're unnamed is understanding. Nothing else, no different. Just grow up, understand, say, you see much more better. Ah, his own special people that you may proclaim the praise of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Give me the message translation and then you give me AMPC. Look at what it says in the message translation. But you are the ones chosen by God. Chosen for what? The higher calling of priesthood. There is a higher calling. I'm not just to lift up to say we have been called by God. Okay, I'm be called higher. <laughs> Priestly work. Chosen to be a holy people. God's instrument to do his work. If God wants to release prosperity to nation, he says you are the instrument of global prosperity. Not local. Are you following me right now? Not local. Not local. You are the instrument of global prosperity. To speak out for him. When they say, where is God? You speak. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give me the MPC, please. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Give me the MPC, sir. But you are a chosen race. We didn't come from stupid race. A royal priesthood. Stand on your feet. A dedicated nation. God's own purchase. Uh, God know they buy ba bad market. God know they buy. They say this one a bad market. No, God know they buy bad market. I am God's own purchase. God purchase me. Special people that you may set forth the wonderful.
deeds, deeds, and what and display the virtue and perfection of Him, Busola, who do what, who called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. Lift your voice and bless God from your heart. You have an understanding of everything working as your bed right. Lift your voice now and bless your heart. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Bless him from your heart. From your heart. From your heart right now. There's something about to take place in the next few minutes. Come on, from your heart. Lord, I'm thanking you for everything getting better. Better and better. Come on, come on. Open your mouth. Help me, Jesus. Help me. My heart bless you. My heart bless you. My soul, my spirit bless you. I realize my strength has failed me. My skills has failed me. I realize what I know has failed me, who I know has failed me. Oh, Somebody I have nowhere else to go, no one else to run to but you. Hey, I have nowhere else to go no one else to run to but you I run to you I run to you my maker I, my maker I run to you In this song. Help me, I help me, Jesus, help me. I can't do this on my own. Hey, help me, Lord, help me, Jesus, help me. I can't do this on my own. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me. Jesus, Jesus, help me. I can't do this on my own. Say, help me, Lord. Help me, help me Lord. Help me. Jesus, help me. I can't do this on my own. I run to you. I run to you. I run to you.
have nowhere else to go. I, no one else to run to. But you, Lord, I, hey, I have nowhere else, nowhere else to go. No one else to run to.
I can't do this on my own. I help me, help me, Lord, help me, Jesus, Jesus, help me. I can't do this on my own. Wherever you are, inside and outside, He wants to help you now. The heavens is open. You're not born again. You don't know Jesus. Wherever you are, I want you to place your right hand on your chest. You want to accept him. You want to submit to him. But you are his own. You can't assess what belongs to him. Say after me, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. Forgive me of all my sins. Write my name in the book of life. Make me your own. Make me your own complete. Make me your own, oh God. Make me your own. Put your hand on me. Put your hand on me. Save me. Blot out my sins. Forgive me of my foolishness. Lord, help me. Help me. Today I run to you. I run to you. I run to you. I believe that I'm saved. And today I'm born again. In Jesus' mighty name. If you pray that prayer, just begin to wave your hands as I pray for you. You pray that prayer, just raise your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, make these ones your own. And make these ones your own forever. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You are created for everything good. And if it is good, it befit you. Shame does not befit you. Frustrations and disappointments does not befit you. Let's take the song just like heaven is ever known at. You'll be seated in heavenly places just like heaven. <laughs> it's a confession. Just like heaven on earth. To be working in his favor and graces, just like heaven, just like to be seated, just like heaven, just like heaven, just like heaven, to be working, just like heaven, just like heaven, somebody sing. Seated in heavenly, just like heaven, just like heaven, learning to be working, just like heaven, just like heaven, learning to be seated in heavenly places, just like heaven, just like heaven, learning. His glory feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. See His glory feels like heaven. Something's moving, something's changing. See His glory feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. Right hand on your chest, say Father. Say Father, I speak in honor of you to the glories and the praises of your name. 
from today in the name of Jesus I will have it just like heaven heaven on earth everything will speak with great grace great light or come on help supernatural grace everything will work in my favor now and forevermore from this day ends for I have it as good things on all sides if it is good it befits me I am created for everything good in Jesus name Miracles and lightning. There is lightning and thunder, miracles and wonder, sound of many waters, heaven on earth. Say, miracles and wonder, sound of many waters, heaven on earth. Sing, yeah. Sing, heaven. Jam your hands together like someone that is already enjoying better.